More victims of a celebrity priest are coming forward. And fair warning, the details of this story are extremely graphic. A fourth nun is revealing how Jesuit artist Father Marco Ivan Rupnik repeatedly demanded threesomes from her. On Sunday, Clara told an Italian newspaper that Rupnik solicited her when she was a 16-year-old nursing intern. A year before she joined the Loyola community in 1986, Rupnik visited Clara in her apartment, began to masturbate in front of her, and then forced her into oral sex. Clara said on another occasion, after driving two sisters from Minjez, Minjiz to Gorizia, he stopped in the garage and began to grope me and then masturbate himself and me. Rupnik later sent her to one of his sexual partners in Italy for lessons in threesomes. The nun recalled she touched herself and played with me in bed, talking to me about how it would be with Father Rupnik and how we would drink his sperm from a goblet at dinner. Yikes. The world-famous mosaic artist is accused of sexually abusing at least 20 sisters. Our Rome correspondent, Dr. Jules Gomez, reported on the testimonies given by the four abused nuns earlier today, and he joins us now. Jules, good to see you, first of all, but this gets more shocking with every new testimony. Does this, though, corroborate the testimonies from the other sisters? Absolutely, uh, Hunter. Uh, we remember the first three witnesses, the first two uh, testified in uh, November, in, and then we had something in December. It was Anna, Esther, Roberta, and now we have Clara. Anna, the first, was a medical student who then became a nun, and she talked about how Rupnik took her to watch pornography movies in Rome. Uh, he had a, a forced her to have a threesome with him and another nun, and she later contemplated suicide and escape from the community through a window. We then have Esther, who was secretary to Mother Superior Ivanka Hosta, and Esther talks about how Ivanka colluded with um, uh, with uh, Rupnik to silence uh, all uh, you know the complaints against him. And uh, Esther talks about how uh, the community turned into a virtual cult uh, under these two. And then we have Roberta. Roberta talked about how Rupnik groped her butt and uh, uh, would talk to nuns about how they need to wear white underwear and a trans a translucent brown uh, blouses that displayed their bra as a sign of their purity. I mean, this you know, this borders on the totally bizarre hunter. I mean, this is inappropriate stuff for anyone, much less uh, priest and religious. But how did Rupnik respond when Clara refused to have a threesome with him? Good on Clara, first of all. Uh, let me respond to that I, by quoting her. Uh, she says, I was exploited, ignored, and marginalized in the community. And the attitude of Ivanka Hosta, the superior, also changed radically. I became a third class sister, considered incapable of observing obedience, praying, and being humble. And she says, It was their way of telling me that I could only serve the sisters, earn some money, but I didn't have a right to speak. I was publicly humiliated, scolded, and punished. I felt used like a useless emotional wreck. Uh, she was then sent to a small community in Jerusalem and left after three years. Okay, well, um, prayers for her. But Dr. Jules Gomez, your work deals with the disgusting underbelly of the church right now, and it unfortunately is very necessary. Thank you for your work and for your time today.